make the catch. Did he get in? Yes. Van Leeuwen. And he he's jumps got it. up and makes the catch in the five. He's six. He comes to the five. He scores the touchdown. Gets away from Dowdy. Not this time. Oh. Lance sacked Alexander. Wow. That was a heck of a football game. All right, we have the Aggies in-house. Head football coach Matt Wells, Zach Vigil, linebacker, Jamie Markosian, uh, offensive lineman. And guys, congratulations uh, on becoming bowl eligible for the third straight year. So you're going to a bowl game for the third straight year. That's never been done in Utah State history. Did you guys talk about that at all leading up to the game with UNLV? We have a little bit, Rod. You know, we didn't really talk much about uh, bowl eligibility uh, because we're right in the hunt for the Mountain West Championship. So that's what we're... Uh, uh, it's a big picture focus, and then the small focus was find a way to beat UNLV. Yeah, how was that going into that game, knowing that uh, you have to win to keep up with Boise State? So that's a little bit of pressure because you don't expect Boise to fall. Right. And uh, like you said, going to that game, a lot of pressure on us. And uh, we were expecting to play really, really well, but we just didn't. Things just didn't click for us for whatever reason. But we found a way in the end to pull it out. Yeah, man, it was a close game, Jamie. Uh, uh, you had chances to, to put this thing away. It didn't happen. And you had to come back and hold them off at the end. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we, we end the half there with two touchdowns called back. Um, you know, simple mistakes that could have been easily avoided. Um, you know, it, it's tough, but, you know, it's a sign of a team team that's resilient and, uh, you know, battle-tested, I guess you could say. We're, we're fighters, we're competitors, so we just kept grinding throughout the, the second half. And, guys, it's been a difficult week uh, for you guys in Logan. DJ T. Alavea, your uh, uh, tight end, out with, uh, uh, for the season with a foot injury. But then more tragic news this week that you've had to deal with as well, Coach. Yeah, you know, his father passed away uh, early last week, and that's, you know, anytime you lose a member of your family, uh, and you can, we all consider Don part of that family, you know, it's, um, it's tough. It's tough on him and his family, and uh, we're just there to support in any little way we can. And you had stickers on your helmets uh, last yeah. night uh, in yeah. Las Vegas, so kind of a reminder uh, every time that uh, you went out and played, right, Zach? Yeah, that's just, that's a, that's a sad deal, and like Coach Wells said, he's part of the family, and, you know, it's hard to lose a family member, especially you know that's a lot of heartache on DJ you know being out with an injury that's 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 hard for him so you know my prayers are out for him yeah we wanted to go out and and, uh, and play for DJ play for his family and, and to honor his dad and um, you know everything is put in perspective when you lose someone so important in your life so all right now moving on to the field I'm not gonna ask you because I don't want the coaches patent answer okay so I'm gonna ask you two guys when Chucky Keaton went down okay everybody else was saying all right there goes the season what were your thoughts there compared to what they are now and everything that's gone on with uh, Garrettson coming in, Daryl Garrettson, the freshman, coming in and playing pretty well? First, first moment thoughts is, okay, well, we'll just keep grinding. We'll just keep working. You know, I didn't know if it was going to be Daryl or if it was going to be Craig or whoever it was going to be, but, but now that Daryl's kind of stepped up and put his mark on things, you know, I'm, I'm really confident in him. Um, really happy in the way he's he's kind of developed in this couple of short weeks. So, yeah. and how's that for the defense? Knowing that okay, you got somebody back there that that uh, is going to play well, uh, coming in for Chucky, and the defense doesn't have all the pressure now on him, which they, a lot of people thought they would have. It's very uh, reassuring to have Daryl step up the way he has and <clears throat> take on that leadership role as a quarterback, and you know. He has a lot of pressure on him. He, big shoes to fill, you know, following Chucky Keaton. Um, but he's done a really nice job for us so far. See why I was going to ask you, because I knew you were going to say it's not a one-player team, and uh, you know we just we're not. <laughs> we're not. We got a we got a senior-dominated offensive line. We got a senior running back, and we got a, a tremendous defense. That uh, you know what we all had to rally around yeah. to, uh, each other and uh, find out uh, that we could win without Chucky. Mm -hmm. And uh, these guys have proven that we can. And um, and uh, we got more to go. Yeah, we got speak, more. yeah, speaking of that, you're coming down to this season. You still got a chance for the uh, Mountain West Championship. You're going to a bowl game. Last year, the greatest season in school history. But with the injuries and all that's happened, the coaching changes and the way you guys have responded, this could be a very special season depending on the way you guys finish out, right? Well, uh, Rod, I've said it all along. It's the 2013 edition of the Aggies. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be a special season because I think what we've got going and we're not done yet. Yeah. And uh, for the things that we've been dealt and the adversity that we've had, uh, to see these guys respond in the way they have and find ways to win, it'll be a special season in and of itself. And Zach, 
being, you guys being a part of that last year's special season and this year to be able to finish it off. That's got to be a special season knowing that you can win a Mountain West Conference title first year. Yeah, absolutely. And you, we want to send our seniors out with the right, you know, the, in the right way, in the right manner. And they deserve everything that we can get right now. Right now, like you're saying, we have a Mountain West title potentially, depending on what happens. <clears throat> we're definitely going to a bowl game. We know that. And we're going to perform well in that. But we have to take care of business these last two games. Is it difficult? to keep these guys not looking too far ahead. These guys do a great job of, of, of focusing uh, on the task at hand. We try to show the big picture of where we're at in the standings. I think that's important for them to know what they're chasing at the end, but then they, they buckle down and, and figure out, hey, this is what we have to do this week. And they've done a really good job, and, and we've done that for three straight weeks, and we got to do it for two more. All right, well, enjoy the uh, bye week, and then uh, get after it again. Kay. Final two games yeah. of your college career and final two games of the season, yeah, regular season. Go get them. He's going to have watching. more than two more. That's why I said regular season. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've got a couple more left. Yeah, I said regular season. <laughs> Boy, is he always this demanding? Uh, we could have gonna be on. I'm not going to comment on that. Okay. We're done now, right? <laughs> okay, you can edit you, that. You're the coach. <laughs> Are we done? Is practice over? It's over. Okay. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs>